Hey everybody! So I am actually not in the studio this week. I am in the town of Leiden, which is about 20 minutes southwest of the city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I'm here on a separate project. I'm helping curate the Impact Festival at Utrecht, and I thought while I was here, I would come to this city. Now, uh, Leiden isn't the biggest city uh, in, in the Netherlands. It's home to an incredible university. It's the home of Rembrandt. Uh, it's got some great museums. But there's one other person who, uh, whose legacy I wanted to come visit. Can you guess who it is? His name's Johan Heisinga, uh, Hausinga, if you want to do a more Dutch pronunciation, or the appropriate Dutch pronunciation. Um, he was a professor here at uh, the University of Leiden. He taught history. Towards the end of his life, he wrote a landmark work in the world of uh, game studies. It was a book called Homo Ludens, which translates to playing man or man the player. And this is the house where he actually started to develop some of the ideas that would become uh, fundamental to the book. It's a response to Homo sapiens, which is man the thinker, and then later this idea of Homo faber, which was like man as the worker. But he really thought what made humans humans, the most important part about being a human, was the fact that we played. And I've cited Homo Ludens a couple times because it's the first piece of, uh, of cultural history that explores play as a concept. And so in this book, Heisinga, he explores a bunch of different things. He looks at the connections between play and law and linguistics and religion, um, all, these, all these different facets of society, kind of like what I try to do on game show. I mean, he's a little bit of an inspiration, if I'm being honest. So he has this great quote from the book. Play is older than culture, for culture, however inadequately defined, always presupposes human society. And animals have not waited for man to teach them their playing. Um, and that really lays the, founder, the groundwork for the entire book. Not many people outside of the Netherlands maybe know who Heisinger is, but he's really, really important if you know and love games because he looked at play and games the same way that I and I think you do as well. That's not just about the games that we play, but it's about these bigger questions of life and literature and love and all of these other things that we sort of associate with high culture. If you haven't read his book, I highly recommend it. At least read the first and last chapters. Um, it's a little academic-y, but I think that you can find your way through it. And it's really important because he lays the groundwork for our contemporary understanding of what it means to be someone who plays games. That's it for me right now. I'll be back in the studio next week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.